This is Gabriel again through Ted, and I'm telling you, um, world leaders and world, or we will earth leaders, we will earth militaries, we will earth governments, you would better um, do this while Ted is still alive, and you better start protecting Ted much better, and you better start helping Ted much better, and you better start getting Ted some resources and protection, and definitely beyond money, riches that he can um, operate and continue doing this. We, I, I really had enough. I've seen enough now to sink an entire fleet. You know, not only a, to sink a battleship, to sink an entire fleet, including all aircraft carriers. And I've had enough. This is Gabriel. I have had enough. You <laughs> need to learn um or unlearn what you learned in um, Christianity, you know? Because it's not Christianity, because Jesus is never Christ. Jesus was a false Christ. The New Testament is entirely false. Jesus is definitely a false Christ. There's no possibility Tall Messiah could ever have been God's son or son of God, or another God, when it was supposed to be. You know, they argue back and forth. Jesus was Emmanuel. Jesus was son of God, God's son. Um, sitting on the right hand of God, intercessor to the Supreme Judge, not the Supreme Judge, not the Judge. And um, Jesus has huge identity problems. It's obvious. It's there in New Testament. It's there. And Jesus was a false Christ. Jesus was a false child, Messiah, and Christ. Ted is a true coming of child, Messiah, and Christ. Therefore, if against Jesus, Ted is not Antichrist, because Jesus was never Christ. Jesus was a false Christ. You can't call Jesus Emmanuel or Jehovah God or Jehovah or God or say Jesus was God when G and when it was written and documented Jesus was God's son or son of God or sitting on right hand of God or a lower God or God the son or lesser God or intercessor to the judge or the supreme judge. Coming to child of Messiah was supposed to be God himself, 100% God. 100% God was supposed to be coming a child and Messiah, and I guess we can call him Christ. And Christ, you know, that's something that was done. And we'll just say, you know, there's not Antichrist because Jesus was never Christ. Jesus was never Messiah. Jesus was never child. Jesus was never God. And then you even contorted this with a Godhead, Tron, God, and Trinity, and three in one. Ted is the judge. Ted is the supreme judge. Ted is the supreme being. A coming of child of Messiah to earth is supposed to be the supreme being. The one living God. God 100%. Not, you know, another God or God the Son praying up to and addressing God the Father. Miracles of Jesus were never documented accurately. These did not happen. Jesus did not resurrect people from the dead. Jesus did not actually heal people. Jesus was not um, dead for, you know, or not alive for three days and then was resurrected on earth. This never happened. Humans of earth, you're terribly deceived. This is probably the worst religious deception in the entire history of um, mankind and uh, humankind, people kind, uh, humans. It's the worst deception in religion or religions ever. And you're, you've been using New Testament and Jesus to pound Ted. Saying, well, Ted, you know, you have to be perfect then and sinless because you have to be like Jesus. Ted does not have to be like Jesus. We started out calling uh, Jesus or Ted Jesus. Then we took the name of Ted Jesus Christ God to get your attention in Christianity. To get your attention. To try to get your attention and possibly get you to uh, deliver the fire like this. And we, we did it. We just said, well, you know, Jesus was definitely false. New Testament is false. We'll try this because other than this, we're not going to get their attention in Christianity. All of these um, quote-unquote Christians when Jesus was never Christ. Ted is not Antichrist because Jesus was never Christ. Ted is not Antichrist because Jesus was a false Christ. Jesus was definitely a false Christ. New Testament is false. Except for Ted is not Antichrist. Ted is child of Messiah. And what will translate to Christ and God, and where you even elevated the name of Christ and Christ above God, you know, above God the Father sometimes, some of you did. Ted is God the Father. Ted is the Father. Ted is Heavenly Father. Ted is the Father, really, of all created life. He doesn't feel like some huge dad to all of you, or some 
huge father. You know, some expect this also. Tis not sinless. God was never sinless. No, no, he was never sinless. Or we're going to say legally he was defined to be sinless and perfect and infallible legally. Therefore, nothing he ever did was sin, yet he did things defined to be sin. And also is blameless. Ted who's God is blameless. Cannot be blamed for anything. Cannot be blamed for um, creation crimes, for conquering crimes, war crimes. You know, cannot be tried or put on trial for any crimes. Cannot be put on trial for any sin. Cannot be caught in any judgments. Cannot be caught in judgment. Therefore, we have to kill off Satan, Satan's demons, and spawn. Or else, leaders of weevil earth, governments of weevil earth, militaries of weevil earth, all of you, or else, you're going to pay. You're definitely going to pay. You're going to pay. You're going to pay with your lives. You're not going to be saved. You're not going to be saved. Now, is this a breakthrough um, goal for this coming? Yes, definitely yes. Ted cannot believe he's anything less than um, a coming 100% of God to himself because for years he's been pushed to primarily to kill or off Satan, Satan's demons and spawns. And he is. There's no possibility Satan and or Satan's demons or any of Satan's demons would be doing this to Ted. A possession trying this much to kill it off Satan and Satan's demons and spawns. You have to be out of your minds believing that Satan and or any of Satan's demons would be doing this to self this much. None of Satan's demons would be authorized this much to try to kill, to drop Satan, Satan's demons, and spawns. You see? Well, I've yelled at them enough, I guess, is a hero. Kind of, you know, giving them a piece of my mind and got them all standing at attention, hopefully some of them, and I've yelled at them, told them a few things. I understand what this is gonna how much good this is gonna do. You know. Ted doesn't have to be all right. Ted does not have to be all good. One hundred percent right, one hundred percent good does not exist. Ted has been good enough and Ted is made up for other things by how breakthrough Ted has tried to be, how much Ted has tried to conquer, how much Ted has tried to win wars and do conquerings and break through. Therefore, you know, I, I Gabriel uh, Give Ted a grade point average on a skill of, you know, 4.0, uh, at least a 3.7. You know, A minus, 3.7 at least. To maybe a, a straight A's, even now. Maybe Ted is getting straight A's. Maybe even A pluses. I'm telling you, stop messing with Ted. Do your duty. Do your work. Do what you're supposed to do. Help Ted maneuver into a position where he can kill it off Satan, Satan's demons and spawns, where he can do conquerings, where he can win wars at this level. You know, this is not a time for peace. This is not a time for peace. Isaiah 9 6, Prince of Peace, it is not accurate. There's not all things, even scriptures they had before Jesus, were all accurate. We're going to say currently about 10% accurate. He's not Prince of Peace. In fact, he was never a prince. He was always constantly the king. Therefore, this is not even accurate. Even Isaiah 9 6, 9, 6 is not accurate, written by Isaiah, a prophet. There was interference with Satan, Satan's demons, even with these scriptures. There was spiritual c c contention, mixed messages, interference and communications not only from God and angels from heaven, also from Satan, Satan's demons. Even the scriptures they had in times of Jesus. These were not all inspired. These are not all accurate. We're going to say currently about 10% accurate. The coming of child Messiah was never supposed to be Prince of Peace, was never a prince. It was supposed to be the king. 